All right, everyone, welcome back. So now that we've got our tongs, our crucible, and our furnace, we can finally start melting some metal. But before we do that, we need to temper the crucible because if we don't temper the crucible and put it in just the way it is, it might crack or explode. So let's get started. On fire. All right, tempering your crucible is very easy and is done in a few easy steps. All that tempering means is that you slowly increase the temperature to slowly remove the water and begin firing the crucible. We're going to get the crucible to glow orange as the final step. When the crucible is glowing orange, the temperature has reached about 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. So, to start the process, the first step is to heat it at a low temperature. I place my crucible in the oven at 200 degrees for 2 hours. After the two hours passed, I increased the temperature to 400 degrees for another two hours. The idea behind doing this is that there is water trapped inside the crucible, which we want to evaporate slowly using lower temperatures, instead of high temperatures, so that the water in the crucible won't suddenly let off too much steam, which would expand and cause the crucible to explode. After baking the crucible in the oven for four hours, it was time to fire it up in the furnace. I placed my crucible into the furnace and started up the fire. I continuously maintain the fire, watching it to ensure it is growing steadily and rising to hotter temperatures. Once the crucible was glowing orange, I held it at the temperature for about 5 minutes. Once 5 minutes passed, I turned off the airflow to the furnace, letting the charcoal slowly burn out while keeping the crucible inside the furnace to let it slowly cool overnight. I came back the next day to uncover the crucible and see its changes. My crucible happened to crystallize on the outside, but other crucibles may have different reactions. And there you have it. Just with a little patience to temper it, we can make sure a crucible is strong under intense heat. After this super easy way to temper your crucible, it's ready to use. All right guys, so wasn't that easy? Now you know how to temper your crucible. With just a few easy steps, we were able to temper it and now it's ready for the fire. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, you can click that like button. You can even get subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.